Hi, Tenfold. It's Lee here from the East Rand. I've been struggling with this question, so I wanted to ask if you guys can please help me out with it. Um, here is the question, and thank you very much. Bye. Asks Lee. Here we go. I hope you're paying attention, hun. Okay. Anele found that she had scar tissue blocking both her fallopian tubes. Shame, which means she can't fall pregnant. Okay. And therefore could not have a baby. Well, obviously. She decided to try in vitro fertilization. Guys, in vivo fertilization, um, in vivo means inside your body. In vitro means it gets done in a test tube. Well, not actually, but yeah, sort of that process. It's not done in your body. Okay, the IVF process, uh, procedure was performed as follows. She was given hormone supplements to stimulate the production of ova. Remember, ova is plural for ovum. So if it's one, it's an ovum. If there are lots, it's over. <clears throat> the mature ova were then collected and placed in a test tube. Her partner was then asked to release his semen, all right, that's not the guys on boats. That is sperm cells mixed with the seminal fluid, all right? So that they can swim happily in a special container. Must have been funny. All right, then the ova and the semen are mixed together in a test tube. And what do we get? We get marullas that develop after a few days and they were inserted into Nele's uterus. Now, the fact that she has scarring, her scarring is here. It's in the fallopian tubes. That scarring prevents the little sperm cells from traveling to the egg cells. Because remember, the egg cell is released by the ovary and it then travels along here. This is where fertilization will normally take place. If the sperm cells can't get to the egg cell or the ovum to fertilize it, because there's like a blockage, it's like a highway and the highway is chopped in half. You can't get past. All right, so her ovaries work perfectly clearly and her uterus is a nice, healthy, perfect uterus. So in vitro was perfect for her. So let's see here. There's the ovary now releases a whole bunch of little ovum or ova and they get put into a test tube. The little sperm cells get introduced and fertilization takes place and a marula develops. So what do we have? We have the ovum plus the sperm cell, okay? They join during fertilization. Let's put a big F there. And what does that mean? You end up with a diploid zygote, okay? Remember the ovum is haploid and the sperm cell is haploid. And we now have a diploid zygote. It's got two pairs of chromosomes, one from mom, one from dad. That zygote now undergoes my for growth and development and it then grows into a little ball of cells called a morula. The morula carries on undergoing mitosis and cell division and it ends up forming something called a blastocyst and that blastocyst is this ball of cells but it has a little cavity in the center and this little ball of cells this will develop into an embryo. That's the little bubba that grows inside when a woman is pregnant. Okay, explain why Anella's condition had prevented her from falling pregnant. Guys, um, her fallopian tubes were blocked by scarring. So the sperm cells could not get to the ovum to fertilize it, okay? So clearly no fertilization means no pregnancy not the normal way anyway so if, if those sperm cells can't get through as I showed you here if they can't get through they can try as they want to they can't get through to the egg cell so the egg cell will just disintegrate the little spermies just die and she can't Anella can't fall pregnant
Okay. Name one hormone that was given to Anele to ensure that ovum were produced by the ovaries. People, you must learn your hormones, okay? Learn them, learn them, learn them, learn them. It is the follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone is released by the anterior pituitary gland and it then causes what? The ovary to release follicles, okay? So the ovary then has this follicle. In the follicle, you have germinal epithelium, which is a diploid cell. It undergoes meiosis, which is oogenesis, which is what we did in the previous question. And we end up with a little egg cell or an ovum. Yay! And there we have our little ovum. So without follicle-stimulating hormone, nothing is going to happen. All righty, now, um, what's this go back here? It says, name the hormone that was. Uh, produced by the developing follicles in the ovaries as the ova were maturing. Now, when an ovum, or plural in this case, ova were maturing, it is going to be oestrogen. And oestrogen starts with an O, and an oestrogen is for ovulation. Okay, and what happens in ovulation? The little ovum which is mature, is now released so that fertilization can take place in case a little spermie comes along to get it and meet it. All right, and then you're going to end up with your diploid zygote because fertilization has taken place. Describe the events that take place in the test tube after, after fertilization, people. Okay, so what do we have? We have the... Um, the result of the male and the female, I showed you that way at the top here. Ovum, eggs, or the egg cell, sperm, and, and the sperm cell undergo fertilization. So what do we end up with? We end up with a, okay, so we say the diploid, diploid 2N, zygote. Okay, what does it do? Divides by mitosis to form a round mass of cells called a marula. All right. Now, what do they do with the marula? The marula, 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 the marula is I don't know. Cont I don't know what the plural is. Continue, okay, to divide and form a structure called a blastocyst, which is a mass of cells with a cavity. All right. And that mass of cells will then become the embryo. All righty. Let's just check there's one more. Explain one possible consequences for the developing embryo if the corpus luteum disintegrates immediately after implantation. Okay. I don't have time to write this down, so but listen. Okay. When the graphene follicle releases the egg cell or the ova, ovum, okay, what happens? It forms the corpus luteum. What is the corpus luteum's job? It is to produce progesterone. And progesterone is what makes sure that the, uh, uh, the uterus, that, that endometrium inside the uterus is maintained. If you don't have the, the corpus luteum, what happens? You have a decrease in the level of progesterone. And that means that the, the, that the endometrium will now start to break up and, and, and lose its form and menstruation will take place. And with menstruation, it means miscarriage takes place. Okay, so the minute that corpus luteum is not producing progesterone, that's it. That lining will come off. And as that lining comes out, you have menstruation and any little egg cell you had there, I mean any little blastocyte that had implanted is gone.